talk about making a roux, which is a fat-based thickener for sauces. We're going to make a classic bechamel, which is one of the mother sauces. So in here I have two tablespoons of butter that are melting. You want to wait till the foaming subsides a little bit. And this is over a moderate heat, make sure you're moderately low heat. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of flour. And the other ingredient is two cups of milk that's been heated a little bit in the microwave. Two cups of milk for about a minute, just to take some of that chill off. It'll give you a much better result. All right. So this butter is about to stop foaming a sec. And then we're just gonna add all our flour all at once. Stir that in immediately. It's gonna kinda gum up on you, and it won't look pretty, but that's okay. So we're gonna keep cooking in the butter until that sort of raw flour aroma goes away. This is a whisk, it's called a flat whisk, and it's great for doing roux because it really gets on the bottom of the pan. And a pan with curved sides helps a little bit, there's nowhere for the flour to hide and clump up. So now we're going to add the milk, but the first couple times we're going to do it a little bit at a time. So, some of that, stir. That's looking good. Sometimes it might clump up on you a little bit, but don't worry. Just add some a little bit more of the milk, a little second addition. You see how it's thickening right now. It's getting almost pasty. That's okay, we're gonna add a little bit more of the milk. Work all those clumps out with your whisk. pretty good. If it gets clumpy on you again, just add a little bit more milk, smooth it out, and then add the rest of the milk. But this looks pretty good, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of the milk right now. Keep stirring for a little bit. You want to bring this to a good simmer, so you'll see bubbles forming on it. And that's going to allow the starch granules and the flour to kind of expand and explode and absorb all that liquid and that's what's giving you that effect of thickening. This will take a few minutes. Once it comes up to that simmer, turn it down and you can stop stirring constantly. Just stir it every now and then. Sometimes there might be a little skin that forms on top. Just go ahead and stir that back in if you notice it. Shouldn't be a problem. And then we'll be back in a few minutes and show you what the finished sauce looks like. Thank you. So now the bechamel is at a good thick stage. You could make it thicker if you want, just let it keep cooking. But this is a good stage to add cheese to if you're gonna do that, because that will thicken it as well. So one test, you'll learn by sight, but this is what the French call nappé. So it coats the back of the spoon, and you can run your finger through it, and it doesn't go anywhere, it just kind of stays there. That's what you're looking for. So. You can use this for a lot of different things. It's a great basic technique. I hope it helps you with your cooking. Have fun.